Anthony from Philadelphia. Since we are coming off SmackDown 15, which I was in attendance for, I had a couple of questions about the blue brand. Why was there no follow-up to Shawn Michaels superkicking The Rock on the very first SmackDown, as this was the closest we ever came to HBK and Rock having any type of match? Also, why does WWE never acknowledge the original SmackDown pilot from April of 1999, which I remember being a pretty solid show? It doesn't matter how solid the show was. It was a pilot. That's why they don't talk about it. SmackDown officially came on the air full-time in August of 99, and that's how they acknowledge it. It's a pilot episode. Pilot episodes don't get talked about very often. As for uh, Michaels and Rock, it was because Michaels wasn't wrestling. I mean, it was 1999. You know, he was only a few months removed from back surgery. Because I think what happened is Michaels wrestled Austin at WrestleMania 14. He went away for several months. I was actually at the Raw show when he made his return in July. He came out and did commentary. And then I think after that, he became the commissioner. He was on TV. But I don't think he actually... I think he was rehabbing his back, hoping it would get better, but it didn't. And I think he went in for back surgery in early 99. I could be I could be wrong. I didn't read his book. Maybe he talked about it in his book. That's my understanding. But the, the point is, he wasn't that far removed from major back surgery. I think in, in 99, he and, and WWE were still of the opinion that he was done. I don't know that Michaels thought at that point he was ever going to make a a comeback. So what were you really building towards? You know, you could do some angles, you could do some back and forth promos with Michaels and Rock, but what are you building to? If there's no match, you're not building to anything. So that's the biggest reason why the match never happened after they did the angle. As far as why they didn't do the match before that, uh, Rock didn't want to work with them. I think it's pretty well documented. Rock was not a fan of Shawn Michaels. Uh, That goes back to when Michaels... And Marty Jannetty came in, I want to say, to Hawaii to work for his family. His family was promoting wrestling shows, and I guess they were a bunch of a bunch of dicks, and he never forgot that. And also with the stuff with Bret Hart. You know, Bret Hart took Rock under his belt when Rock first came in, so Bret in some ways was a mentor to him. And I think in that whole Bret vs. Sean deal, uh, Rock took Bret's side and just generally wasn't a fan of Shawn Michaels. It probably only validated what he already thought about the guy. He he just didn't want to work with him. I'm sure Sean would have loved to have worked with him, but Rock didn't want to work with him. And I think now, you know, that's all behind them now. They're fine. You know, there's no animosity there. But that's one of those uh, dream matches we missed out on. I think it would have been really good with both guys in their prime, Rock against Shawn Michaels, and we never got to see it. 